You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino and a Beer Review. We've got Boychuk. We've got Rhino. Boychuk brought this to us from Quebec. He said it was hidden in the bottom of the fridge. Shall I zoom in on that? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. This is a uh, Beer Nouveau, or New Beer, from 2010. So it is last year's new beer. Uh, the website said that it was made with the first hops and malt from the last harvest. That it was uh, made in the winter months, released in February. So this came out February 2010. It is now September 2011. It is good until the first month of 2013, so we still have a, a while to go. 8% mm -hmm. alcohol, brewed in France. It's a beer on lees from the Brassiere de Saint Sylvester. It's fucking stapled shut. So I got a, a collection of different openers over here. I don't know how I'm going to pry this staple off. Oh, that was easier than I thought. So there's the staple. That uh, really did a number to this cork. And now the fun begins. Oh, fuck me. Corkscrew, right? Never mind, I have a system. Pardon? I have a system. You have a system? I have a system. Okay, you do your system. I'm going to try to find my corpus. I've got it out. Oh. <laughs> Guess I don't need to find it. Oh, ho, ho. lovely smoke on that one. Oh, I was here for it. I heard the pop, though, from lovely, across the Lovely, lovely smoke on that one. Okay, so it says you have to... Serve it with careful precision. It should be at about 10 degrees Celsius. It's about that. And to leave the fine yeast in the bottom of the cup so you do not get explosive diarrhea like when you drink Paul's cider. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. He still argues that it wasn't, so I drank another bottle just to find out, and yeah, it came back. Well, yeah, it's... As Ken put it, so that's why my toilet's been destroyed for the last week. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Well, it's a very heady beer. Mm. And yeah, I didn't pour it very well, but it wasn't like I poured it horrendously bad. No. We have a visitor coming down the stairs. Yeah, very heady beer. Well, we didn't want to drink the bottom of it, but it seems like we have almost nothing out of the bottle. Yeah, this is true. We're about halfway through the bottle at this point. And the head isn't really moving. No. Lots of carbonation. It actually... Maybe, maybe that's what the staple's for. <laughs> Doesn't seem like that's what the staple's for. Yeah, shut up. Um, I have a theory. <laughs> looks a lot like a, a Belgium yeasty beer, but I mean it is on Lee's. Mm. Nice thick head. Lots of carbonation. Actually, the head is kind of leaving on the sides of the glass and leaving like, if you looked down on it, yeah. in my glass at least, look down at that. It's like, the sides are empty yeah. now. That's messed up. That's awesome. The head keeps you from smelling too, too much. Yeah, it smells yeasty and fruity. Mm -hmm. That kind of looks like a turd fighting its way out. <laughs> oh, what a night to not have a zoom person on. <laughs> whoa, 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 I'm getting a mushroom head. Oh my god. Look at the top of this beer and tell me what it looks like now. I will not answer this question. <laughs>
You know what it looks like. I'm not saying shit, sir. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. You do this with it. Not my class here on the internet. <sighs> Let's try this. That's a yeasty beer. Yeah. Do not drink this beer. And you know where this is going. Huh? Yes, I did. I'm just going to sit here and laugh. Do not drink this beer and then perform coming lingus. You'll give your partner a yeast infection. It does have that bite that it talks about on the internet, though. Yeah. Yeah, it does. You do get some fruit. A little bit of dark fruits, I'd say, like a plum. Possibly, yeah. Not a fan of the aftertaste, though. Oh, that uh, yeasty alcohol burn? Yeah. Well, I can see why this is released in the winter months. I mean, uh, it tastes a lot... Well, it doesn't taste like a winter warmer, but it feels like a winter yeah. warmer. I don't really have a problem with it. As, just like you, the the aftertaste is the only thing I'm not really fond of. Yeah. A lot of that's coming from the head, though. I did taste just the head, and it, yeah. it's a little bitter. This, this is true, yeah. It is a really well-made beer, though, especially when you think about the fact that this is uh, 17 months old now. Mm -hmm. Definitely not bad at all for being 17 months old. No. I... Uh, it aged really nicely. I don't know what it tastes like fresh, but right now, it's nice, it's mellow. Everything is actually really good until you get to the aftertaste. And the aftertaste mm -hmm. is just yeasty, alcoholic, and and warming. Yeah. But, again, looking at it for what it is, as a winter warmer, I think I'd really like it. Um, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's really worth a drink. I personally find it's well done. And I would drink it again, but just because of what it is, I wouldn't drink more than a bottle of it maybe every month. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd give it a six and a half, mostly because I don't necessarily like this style of beer that much. But for what it's supposed to be, it's it's pretty good. Alrighty, guys. It's been the Rhino and Boychuck. 7.5, 6.5. This has been uh, Beer Nouvelle from... The Brassier de Saint Sylvester, 2010 mop. There's fly. A, there's a fly down here. Yeah. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Really, James is in here, and we still get the.